Today's presentation is about the Good Shepherd. It's the very first presentation about the Good Shepherd. There are three presentations and this is the first one. It's just an introductory one. So this is how you present it to children. We've gathered here in front of the sheepfold. It's a place where the shepherd keeps his sheep. The sheepfold has a gate. There's the gate. It's an entryway for the shepherd and the sheep. So here we have our shepherd. You notice that I'm holding the shepherd from not from the top here. I recommend we always hold the human beings or those representing human beings a bit lower like that. So the shepherd, here we have the shepherd. He's not wearing the clothes that we see today. He's dressed as a shepherd would be dressed back in the time of Jesus. And usually the shepherds were young boys. That's why the shepherd is so young looking. And this shepherd has also got a bag over his shoulder. I wonder what he's got in his bag. And this is when the children will come forward with a few suggestions and you might need to add a few in that they haven't thought of. For example, it's all written here in the booklet, the slingshot for dangerous animals and what a slingshot is. The oil to bind the wounds of the, the sheep that are wounded, a flute, etc. They usually come up with the food, lunch, and something to eat, something to drink. And that's all good. So the sheep are normally in the sheepfold. And you can see how we're moving them in quite slowly and also through the gate. You might think that it's moving very slowly and it is, but that's what the children need. And when there's silence, they're reflecting. You can actually say the names of children in the class when you're doing that as well. And that helps them to identify with the sheep. So we're going to hear about how the Good Shepherd calls his sheep and how they know his voice and how they listen to him, but not to a stranger. I'm going to light a candle because we're going to be reading a few words from the Bible. It reminds us that we're reading from the Holy Book, even though I've got the words here in my book, my little pamphlet. And it reminds us of Jesus too, the light. And this is from the Gospel of St. John. The one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the flock. The gatekeeper lets him in. The sheep hear his voice and he calls them one by one and leads them out. Matthew. Mary. Amelia, Sam, Andrew, Felicity, When he's brought his flock out, he goes ahead of them and the sheep follow because they know his voice.
I am the Good Shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me. Well, let's think about that a bit. The shepherd goes to the sheep every day and he takes them out. You know, sheep are frightened animals. They won't drink from bubbling waters, so he has to find them a quiet and still pool. The shepherd calls his sheep by name and they follow him because he's got good things in store for them. When they hear his voice, they follow him because they trust him. He takes them to the fresh green grass and the quiet still waters and they stay close to him. The shepherd loves his sheep. He cares for them and he protects them. And if they're hurt, he would put oil on their wounds to heal them. And then at night time, he takes them back to the sheepfold. He calls the sheep by name again in the, in, and they return into the fold. Matthew, Mary, Samantha, Oops. Josie, Jane, Mark, and they come into the sheepfold and he checks each one of them as they come in and he makes sure they're all there and then he himself comes into the sheepfold to be with the sheep and to be safe. You know, I wonder, I wonder what it would be like for a sheep to belong to such a shepherd as that and to hear your voice heard, uh, the, your name heard. I wonder who these sheep are that belong to this shepherd. I wonder why they want to be close to him. And I wonder why he would protect them from danger. Now those are all I wonder questions. The idea is to really have a little conversation with the children once you introduce those. You don't actually have to use them all. If the conversation flows with one or two questions, you don't have to necessarily use them all, although quite often early days you do. Um, and they will the idea is that they come up with the fact that Jesus is the Good Shepherd and that we are his sheep. But actually with very little children, it doesn't come instantly. They actually get to that understanding with a bit more time. Then you let the children know after you've had a, a moment of wandering together with them, verbalizing, you let them know that they can have choice time. So it would go a little bit like this. You know, you can use this diorama anytime you like in the choice time that we're learning about today and even on other days. When you finish, however, the important thing is that you leave it as it should be, just ready for the next person. Then you might actually um, have the children decide what they are going to do. I'm presuming they've had a few um, ideas already. They've already been doing some choices. So you might remind them what they could do or introduce them to what they could do. So you give them some ideas, especially at the beginning. You can use this diorama and actually reenact what we've heard today or you might like to do a tracing 
of the Good Shepherd, which you'll find on the table over there. You, you can collect a picture from there and you can trace it or you can colour it. You might want to draw your own picture on one of the little mini blackboards or the mini whiteboards. You might want to make a model of the shepherd or the sheep or both using the Play-Doh. So there's lots of things that you can choose to do. And then maybe you can explain your picture to somebody close by to you and tell them what you've done. 